Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello there and welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again. And in today's video, I am going to be looking at the viewing figures for the Doctor Who special, the Star Beast. Now these are only the overnight figures and this is including the seven day catch up. We won't get that until next week, but yeah, I'm going to be looking at the initial overnight viewing figures for the Star Beast because when a new Doctor Who episode drops, there's always some discourse and some debate on whether the episode was successful and stuff like that. So I thought I'd jump in and see how many people viewed this episode. So yeah, let's get into the video and let's talk about, um, yeah, was this episode successful? Okay, so I'm getting this from the Radio Times, and um, yeah, the overnight ratings for the 60th anniversary special, the Star Beast, have brought in 5.08 million. So this is the biggest Doctor Who overnight viewing figure since the 2019 New Year's special resolution. So, okay, decent, decent. I mean, I, I was expecting a little bit higher, because it's the 60th anniversary, and uh, David Tennant and Catherine Tate are back, but... To be fair, I haven't seen a big marketing push with these specials, so I'm not too surprised. I mean, it's not as bad as the Chibnall era, don't get me wrong, but I thought we were going to get something a little bit higher. But um, Doctor Who beat I'm a Celebrity, which is still a good achievement. Well done. Big up, BBC. Um, so I imagine, yeah, the, the, the uh, amount that will matter will be the catch-up within seven days. And then there's another uh, rating... In 28 days, but I imagine you'll get a lot of the audience push within the seven day catch up. And obviously, this doesn't include uh, Disney Plus either, which I do know there is something about that, which I'll get onto in a second. But yeah, Strictly won the night with 7.67 million. Now, hopefully, uh, next week, now people know the Doctor Who is back properly, um, you know, and people can tell their friends to watch it or whatever. Then hopefully uh, the Wild Blue Yonder might be um, having more people tune in, hopefully. But fingers crossed. Okay, so thank you to William Hu for putting this quote on Twitter. And this is from the popverse.com. Uh, internationally, Disney Plus is handling the distribution after closing a major deal with the BBC last year. And so far, the numbers outside the UK are strong. Right now, Doctor Who the Star Beast is hovering between the fourth and second spots in the countries where Disney's streaming platform is available. So this is a positive outcome for the two companies' distribution deal and should solidify their relationship moving forward, though it remains to be seen whether the numbers will be as strong as the other two specials too. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. And it does make me think, ooh, um, what the numbers are exactly. But I imagine with the amount of countries that uh, Disney Plus is available in and Doctor Who is going to be on there, uh, it does make me think um, we could actually, potentially, with the catch-up numbers and stuff like that, Doctor Who could be getting around 10 million uh, well, 9 to 10 million uh, views. But Disney Plus don't normally give out the exact numbers until way after. So, yeah, uh, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see on what the exact numbers are. But yeah, overall, whilst I did expect, you know, a bit more from the overnight viewing figures, um, I, I am happy with what we've got, you know. Uh, it was also stated that this was the biggest drama launch of 2023. So, hey, well done, Doctor Who, and hopefully, yeah, you can continue that success. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you are new around here, please click that like button and subscribe for more nerdy content as I am trying to reach 6,000 subscribers, which I would love to reach by the end of the year. But anyway, take care, love you all, and peace.